Good day, good day, Royal fans. Let's get back into another juicy installment. No going back. Prince Harry reaching point of no return with Royal Family. Prince Harry's life has changed dramatically since 2016 when he found love, married, started a family and turned his life and work upside down, according to a former aide. The Duke of Sussex is now transitioning from a life within the walls of the palace, serving full-time the crown and royal patronages to the American stage. And his time to return to his old lifestyle is quickly running out. According to Patrick Jepson, who worked for Princess Diana between 1988 to 1996. He told Vanity Fair, having reached the same age at which his mother died, Harry has arrived at a point of no return. A life on the American public stage is now his destiny, unless he divisively turns away from it. The time to do so is fast running out. We must hope, as Princess Diana surely would, that he has weighed his options wisely. Prince Harry married Meghan Markle at St. George's Chapel in May 2018. The pair were given the titles of Duke and Duchess of Sussex, worked as full-time working members of the royal family for 22 months. But after having announced in January the intention to step back as senior royals to live a more private life and be able to pursue financial ventures, the couple officially stood down from their roles in March this year. Meghan and Harry are now free to pursue interests they could not have worked on as senior royals, such as voting rights in the US, and can work on non-profitable projects. Early this month, the pair announced they had become financially independent from the sovereign grant, and Prince Charles also thanks to a multi-year deal with Netflix. Meghan and Harry have also repaid in full the cost of renovating Frogmore Cottage, the home in Windsor they lived in between the spring and November of 2019. While Mr. Jepson believes the couple are running out of time to rethink their exit and return as full-time working royals, insiders claim the Queen has signalled the door is remaining open for them. Meghan and Harry were invited to Balmoral Castle this summer, which, like other members of the family, the Daily Telegraph wrote. However, restrictions in place due to the coronavirus pandemic have prevented the couple from flying across the pond. Royal expert Hugo Vickers said the Queen is keen to keep the door open to him. In March, the Queen and Prince Harry also had an intimate conversation focused on the Duke's future. Speaking to her grandson, the monarch reportedly told him he is much loved and will always be welcome back. After Meghan and Harry officially stepped down as senior royals in late March, a 12-month transition period was put in place to allow the Sussexes to rediscuss the terms of their deal or even return to the palace. Return, I think they shan't, but let's see what happens in the future. As for today, guys, like, comment, and subscribe. See you tomorrow with the latest royal news. Thank you for watching, and goodbye for now.